All right, time for a new Blade review. This is the Baryonyx machete. Baryonyx is the name of the company who sent it to me. And it's made in El Salvador. That's what it looks like. And it's available for $69.98 US dollars. That's with the standard survival edge. You can also pay three bucks extra to get what they call the racing edge. And that's what's on this. So it's just a sharper edge, which in my opinion is well worth it. Not that three dollars makes much of a difference anyway and so yeah this is uh, quite an interesting design it's seems to be inspired by the barong style machete also a very wide blade but then it's got this almost bill hook looking curve here and the double point the blade is made of 1075 high carbon steel so pretty standard choice for a machete Good quality steel, uh, not stainless, of course. We so have to keep it oiled to prevent corrosion. Uh, the handle, I don't know what it is. It doesn't say on the website. Uh, it seems like some kind of high impact plastic. Uh, it's symmetrical, so you can flip it around and strike either with the main edge or with the hook part. And the way it's designed, they were they had a lot of different functions in mind. So of course, with the main edge, you can chop, you can slice, uh, you can whittle, carve, clear under brush, whatever you need to do. And then with this end, this can be used for draw cuts like that. <clears throat> you have to hook things. The spine in this area is unsharpened, so you can use that for batoning or you can even grab it or push against it. Otherwise, if you need more control for specific tasks, as is common for machetes of this type, it's rather thin, but very wide. So it gives you lots of cutting power and not a lot of resistance as it goes through the target. Makes it more likely to get stuck when trying to split wood, but then again, it's not an ax and for splitting wood, batoning is better anyway with a blade like this. So yeah, how does it perform? Well, I tried it out, of course, and uh, first some wood chopping, just you know, standard stuff, branches and whatnot, and it does that just fine. So no problem at all. As said, tends to get stuck a little more than an ax would, obviously, but it chops really nicely. The edge held up perfectly with this, you know, despite being the thinner edge, I don't see any kind of damage on it, and it just kept going and going, no problem. The sharpness certainly helps. And in some cases you can just chop through something in one go where otherwise you would need several swings. And the finish works quite well. In fact, I don't really, I've noticed minimal wear on the finish so far. There are a few kind of lighter spots, but because of the, the style, of this um, kind of rough, almost sort of apocalyptic looking finish. It just kind of blends in all the scratches that you would get and that works pretty well. So it, it still looks more or less the same as it did before. So basically it helps not to worry about scratching it up as you use it. And because merely wood chopping isn't hard enough on the edge to test it, I also threw it. That's always a good way to put a lot of stress on the blade and see if there's any kind of deformation or if it breaks or if you know, the handle is sturdy enough, if anything loosens up. If it does, then it usually happens when you throw it into something because there's pretty hard impact, vibration, uh, sometimes you hit the ground, things like that. And yeah, this held up really nicely. The only thing that happened is that the point bent very slightly. Oh, try to show you in the close-up here but that's really very minor and with a file five seconds and you got it, got that straightened out and I'm not seeing any edge damage there's a little bit just right underneath the point but otherwise I don't see anything I mean it's probably dulled a little bit from that we'll see but yeah held up perfectly I did actually expect a bit of edge damage from that but nothing yeah, the, the edge is rougher now for you know, obvious reasons. This edge here should still be pretty close to the way it came because I haven't used that part much. And yep, it is. So it's definitely not a 
a shaving edge as in it's not as smooth uh, you could hone this of course if you wanted to but this is more the kind of rough toothy work edge which makes perfect sense for this and uh, yeah so i can't, cannot complain about the edge it happens every now and then that i don't have to so this has worked quite well i also tested it on a zombie head from zombie go boom just for fun and to see how it will go and uh it yeah it does the job let's put it like that it's a lot easier to cut it than to bludgeon it apparently i mean this was no there's no getting just, that sticker off so i cut off the entire orbital i mean the outside of it there you're slimmer now. These were not hard swings. Just wanted to see what the blade could do and it cut into it effortlessly. At one point I cut out kind of a wedge out of the skull and yeah, it cuts and slices, no problem. Again, did not get any damage from that either despite the material that the skull is made of being really hard so that was a good test and it passed it with flying colors so to speak there was also a nice decap at the end so yeah this thing just performs it chews up whatever you throw at it the handle is a very simple shape but it works and uh, it seems well sized if you have large hands you shouldn't have a problem with that and it should fit for just about anyone at least one-handed use the fit is perfect and i'm assuming that they molded the handle around the tang it does appear to be full tang and yeah not much else to say really other than taking a look at the leather sheath now this one is definitely well made so you've got several layers and it's riveted as well as stitched and uh, these straps here are handy to keep it inside it's it's a kind of a weird shape so it has to be open on one side so you can fit it in and fit in that uh, hook at the end so yeah nice and sturdy there is a belt loop here that swivels so on the one hand it allows you to kind of push it around if you need to get it out of the way but i'm guessing as you walk around this could swing a little bit which might be annoying but otherwise yeah not much to say really so what's my overall opinion of it i like it it works uh, I could nitpick a little bit about the grip, which feels a little cheap, I have to say. You know, it works, but it doesn't feel as good as, say, Micarta or G10 or something like that, or even good wood handles. The plastic, you know, I don't particularly like how it feels. Like, you don't really notice it when using it. Like, it's not that it's either abrasive or too slippery or anything else problematic with it but you know it has a slightly cheap feel it may just be subjective but that's what it is also the the grind is a little on the rough side and so the toothy edge there's nothing really wrong with it for the kind of um, application but for the price it could be a little smoother in my opinion because you know 70 bucks for a machete, you know, there are plenty of cheap machetes out there, so the price could maybe be a little lower. Um, I don't know, of course, what costs they have and everything, but just from a consumer perspective, if you will, it sounds kind of weird, collector, whatever, tester perspective, that's really the only thing I would criticize, uh, aside from how the handle feels. But otherwise, I still think the blade is really good and it does the job so yeah good stuff you can check it out link will be down below in the video description along with the specs and all the other good stuff so thanks for watching hope you found it interesting and informative and uh have a good one look at his face <laughs> oh that's Ew, that's great. Special reconstruction surgery right there. That's a really thick chunk right there.